Hey guys, Prophet Beal here. Welcome back to another How To in Prison Architect. Today we're talking about remote doors, aka automatic doors. And where's my. So if we come down here to utilities, you'll see that they have door controller. We have door controllers, door servos, we also have a bunch of logic bricks and door timers, pressure pads. We have a bunch of different options. We're going to do some basic stuff here. So, we're going to build a door controller, which actually works very similar to a camera or a CCTV monitor. And then I'm going to show you where's the door servo. How we can take this regular uh, prison door here and turn it into a remote door. So, we're going to put a door servo right on top of it. Now, what you have to remember is when putting in door servos, the actual little little teeth there, the little teeth of the door servo needs to go right on top of the door you want to control. So it needs to be hanging over that little entrance area. Oh, and at the same time, I will also show you a door timer. I'll drop a door timer in here. Okay. Door servo. Door control system. Basically works real simple. You just click, just like we're doing cameras, connect, and then you click around to the door servo. Easy peasy. And so what'll happen is any when the, the officer that's running this, anyone comes up to this door, they'll automatically open it and close it. So you don't physically have to have a guard walking over there. You can do this with any prison door. Now, the advantage is doing something like this as opposed to physically putting in a remote door. A remote door can only be operated remotely. So if a guard walks up to it and has a key, he can't open it. Someone at the control system must let them in. With these regular doors with the servo added, a guard can still open it. So if power goes out or if... Um, someone just happens to not be manning this because the guy went on his break. You know what? They can still go in and out of the doors with their keys. And that is a huge bonus. That's why I usually recommend not using remote doors. And so for your door timer, door timer is a pretty simple thing. So you can choose when you want the door, this door to be open. So let's say I want it to be... Uh, uh, open during sleep hours but close the rest of the time and I just simply go connect like that basically you can tell it in the schedule when you want it to be open and when you want it to be closed and it'll automatically open all doors that it is connected to at that specific hour alright guys let me know if you have any other questions about remote doors hit me up in the comments below and I will uh get back to you when I can. Hey, look at you. You made it to the end of this tutorial. If you want to see others I've made for this game, click right over here. Or click over there on the right to see what other games I've been playing. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.